Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to talk about uh, only five whiskeys that you can keep. Yeah, so basically ADHD Whiskey, he kind of set a video out there and then he challenged a bunch of YouTube channels saying, hey, out of your all's collection, if you can only keep five, what would be the five you would keep? So hard, man. I, I was struggling. Like I, like, I was struggling mightily because I was like, well, do I want to keep the open ones? Do I want to keep the closed ones? Do I want maximum value? Do I want maximum, like, what I just like? I know. It's like, what, like, nostalgia or what? Like, yeah. there are some things in there, like, they're just, there's no parameters set for this. And so you start thinking, like, yeah. well, what am I going to keep? What am I going to keep? What am I going to keep? Yeah. It's, it's uh, tough, man. It's for sure challenging, <laughs> nonetheless. Yeah. And I like, like I, I've already said, like I was telling him, I left off that uh, that Bowman cast strength, and I freaking love that. Yeah, that was that was good. Russell's two thousand three. Mm-hmm. I that was a unicorn that I've been hunting for. I, I've been just wanting to get one of those bottles for a long time, and I finally got it. I love that off list. Like things that I just wanted in general. Listen, I was hoping he would say the uh russell's reserve 13 so that i could vicariously live through his um collection of bourbon um or i could have let him just have my five and i could like if we could only keep five and we were in a bunker somewhere (laughs) that i could drink on the on his 10 so that five of them were mine i'm I'm, but you know it it didn't work out that way needless say so i picked five from my collection he picked five from his collection yeah um and yeah, so I'll All go ahead and start. Right. Yeah. So the first one I'm going to pick, kind of like, it's a no-brainer, it right? Isn't. Like, it isn't. I, it's I have to have one of these with me if I could only have five. It'd be the King of Kentucky. Now, I have a couple of different ones. Actually, my favorite one that I have that if I could get another one, I would keep. It would probably be the open one I have. But I set a rule to myself to help me eliminate some bottles was I only keep bottles that I had that were closed. So that just helped me. But... King Kentucky, it's year in, year out. It's some of the best bourbon, if not the best bourbon, that's released every single year. It's so good. And I I, I mean, I just think it's the pinnacle. It is. So it's also in my profile where it's dark chocolate and and just, it's all of the dark, rich flavors I like in bourbon. It it does all the things that you want it to do. It does. It does. Uh, For me, I went on my first one, I went kind of... Um, I guess nostalgia for me, not nostalgia, but maybe just uh, excitement. Sure. And I did uh, Wilderness Trail. Now, you may think, like, Wilderness Trail? Who cares about Wilderness Trail? I mean, we I do. Mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I like Wilderness you know, Trail. Like it. But, like, what's special about it? Well, uh, I got to do my very first uh, barrel pick mm-hmm. uh, with Louisville Bourbon Club, which I'm eternally grateful for, uh, and, it, and it's this one. And so... I have like two unopened bottles of this that I will um, keep and and hold. This is one of my open bottles. I, I just I bought like six of them just to just to you know keep them safe and handy. Sure. sure. Uh, and I I love it. I thought it, the guys did a really good job of picking it and uh, it tastes really good. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken. There might still be some at Cox's Evergreen, and I might have to go pick up another one just to be safe. Sure. Um, well, you also had a lot of fun. Like, yeah, down I, had a, I had a blast like going that. down to Wilderness Trail. They did a really cool pick yeah. for us, and the guys that I got to pick with were, were a lot of fun. And so uh, that's why I chose that one. Sure. Yep. All right, my next one. Now, I couldn't do a list. I couldn't do anything where I didn't have at least one Old Forester product. Before. Of course. Now, if I'm going to pick one Old Forester product, has to be the Old Forester product that I own, which is the Old Forester employee bottle. So it's 125 proof. This bottle was made for basically them meeting the production goal, and they met it. And this it, this is not open. I do plan on opening it actually this summer whenever we go up to the uh, Bourbon Junkies meetup. I mean, we'll just keep so, it a secret. Well, because he's going to try to drink all of it. <laughs> but this is one liter. It's incredibly hard to find. It's, it's very rare if it... it I feel like whenever they come up, it's gone instantaneously. Yeah. Um, it is without question. You can give me any of the president's choices, any of the birthday bourbons, any single barrel that they've ever produced, anything allocation. This is by far the best thing that, that they've had, in my opinion. And, you know, I, I'm i lucky to have one. He's, a, he's <laughs> lucky, lucky enough to have I'm one. I'm lucky to have one. So and, there it is. And it comes in one liter. So it's yeah. a little extra juice in there. Yeah. 
you know, yep. what you would expect. There it is. Um, my next one is uh, Smoke Wagon, Uncut Unfiltered, Batch 79. Gosh, such an incredible uh, batch. Listen, I don't know what kind of magic pill he put into Batch 79. Aaron, I know you're probably not listening to this, <laughs> but whatever not. you did, do it again. Yeah, do it again. <laughs> like, it was incredible. Was fire. I I think it was maybe a culmination of the taste and the fact that it's in a clear bottle. Listen, <laughs> I, I will speak to the clear bottle uh, till the cows come home. I love the clear bottle. I think it does way more justice to your uncut, unfiltered than than what. But the but the batch seventy nine was just it, there was just so much to it that was so good. It was so good. It made our top ten. Yeah, it did. It it, did. I mean, it was. It's just it. To me, it's the best uncut, unfiltered, and it's not even close. Yeah. I've had some limited and rares that don't compete with that bottle, in my opinion. I got lucky enough to find a, a backup because my my original has got I about this much one. left. I, I'm still looking for a backup to my backup because, listen, I don't want to run out of this. Mm -hmm. I, I may have to pay for it down the road, but True. I'm excited about it. So. All right, so my next one. This is the one that I kind of debated on. I was kind of going back and forth. I had four... And then I kind of debate on this one. But this is the Four Roses 20-year. I, I'm just going to say this right now. It, make, it warms my heart that you're bringing a Four Roses into, well, into the I, mix. I, I love Four Roses. Like I'm not, I'm not saying that. I no. know. We just don't talk enough about Four Roses. And my I, love for I Four know, Roses I is know. deep. I know. And I'm just happy that he brought the 20-year in. And, I get it. Yep. I get it. So this Four Roses was a limited release. They had, what, a little bit under 3,000, around yeah. 3,000 models, yeah. I think. Somewhere right around there, uh, give or take a few. This is 20-year, I'm getting ready to stutter because I didn't even pay attention to this, OBSV. What is it, Tier 3, Tier 4? I think uh, it's a tier This three. one is a Tier 3. Yeah. I think they had a combination of Tier 3 and mm -hmm. T4, or er, Tier 4, if I remember correctly. I think so. But this is one of the best bottles I've tried all year. That was really Like, good. it's not even close. I have a couple that's still not open because I'm just nervous and like I don't like I don't I don't want to open it yeah. because a 20 year barrel strength offering like they just did that auction for the tornado relief yeah. and what those like I think they had like a 19 year and that barrel was going for like 200 something thousand like it something crazy which is awesome because they raised all this money for charity yeah. and, and people who needed it but these are like they're I don't know if they'll ever do another 20 year release again. They probably will at some point, but maybe not for a long time. I mean, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, we'll see. It's amazing. Love this spot. For yes. sure. Love it. All right. My next one is uh, simply because, I, again, I just love this. I love what's inside of this bottle. It's crazy. Uh, it's awesome. Is the Remus Repeal uh, 5. Yeah. Uh, it was in our, what did it end up being? Is Was it in our top five? I'm in like five or six or something. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you are able to remember if somebody wants to go through yeah. and look at our top ten. Yeah, so I think I it made our top ten, but go ahead and also hit the like we've, and subscribe button. We've right drank here. a lot of bourbon since then. <laughs> we so have drank a lot of bourbon. Uh, to know, but been drinking a lot uh, of that here. Yeah, this too. is this is so good. Uh, I am on the lookout for it. So if anybody in uh YouTube land can can, can, can do a <laughs> I said she's gone. Yeah. Uh, if you can find get your hands on one of those, I'd like to talk to you. Uh, <laughs> We can chat. The best, th in my opinion, whenever people talk about, because, you know, like realistically, I know I'm, I'm getting ready to talk about one here in a second, but Dusties are gone. Like, mm -hmm. if you can find a Dusty, it's so dumb luck. It's from a private private collection. So, yeah, we talked, decides. I feel like we talked about that not too long ago. It's yeah. the fact that it, you're, it's only happening if your grandma or your grandfather pass away or yeah, something like, like that. Yeah, like, they're just gone. Yeah. And with that Remus, it's like taking a time machine back in time and trying some some dusty products. It really is. You know, that older MGP, it's in there. Yeah. It's just, it's amazing. It's good. So talking about dusties, do the Maker's Mark. Now, this is actually a, like a, yeah, I guess it is like a celebration yeah, bottle for whenever Kentucky won the 1996 championship. Now, woo woo. now. Some people will sit there and be like, oh, well, you know, it's because he's a Kentucky fan. Nope, has nothing to do with that. Or it's like, oh, it's a Dusty. No, it has nothing to do with that. It also doesn't even have anything to do. I've actually had the the bourbon that's actually in here. It's actually really good. Like, I, I will say, like, if you can get one that is open, these are actually really, really good at 90 proof. Mm -hmm. My number one reason why, though, to me, this is special. This is actually, believe it or not, this is actually the very first bottle of bourbon I ever owned. 
my mother gave me this as like a, I, I was obviously a huge UK fan growing up. And she got this for me. It's not obvious because he lives in Indiana, but that's, <laughs> and, you know, point. whatever. I talk about it. So she got me this bottle for whenever they won. And she's like, hey, whenever you're old enough, you will have this. This is yours. So essentially, this is my very first bottle I've ever owned. Yeah. And I don't think most, if any, can say the same thing. So it means a lot to me. It means a lot that my mom got it for yeah. me. You know? Yeah. And, you it's, know, it's super cool. cool. And yep. it's actually, it. here's, here's the really cool thing. I'm just going to say this. It's actually good. Yeah. Like the first thing you have. Yeah. It's actually good. Yep. That's so. awesome. Uh, I don't know that this would be a surprise to anybody who watches our channel at all because this is, to me, this is one of these that I I love to have. It's a must-have on my bar. Um, I li- I just love the single barrel. Uh, I, I don't know if there's anything else to say about it other than I, I really enjoy the single barrel. And if I'm only keeping five <laughs> whiskeys, I want to keep the things that I really enjoy. Um, and that's just, it's this. So yeah. I, I, it's as simple as that. So it's money. It's really good. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know he likes a small batch better, but I do. It is what it is. All right. So my last pick, everybody's going to love this one. I already know. Everybody's going to love it. Blanton's. <laughs> why would you need anything else <laughs> no out of all seriousness so the reason why this bottle to me means so much to me it actually has my son's birth date on there and it i keep it in my safe i don't keep it on the shelf i don't keep it anywhere in my basement this is the first time i've seen it in like since i got it yeah i was gonna say he actually dave did dave knocked out of the park he actually got me this bottle uh whenever my son was born because honestly whenever my son was born like it was my first my first kid yeah i didn't even think about it. yeah like i thought about it afterwards i was like maybe i'll find one and i didn't and then he shows up and he's like hey here you go and it, even better we were uh we hadn't been golfing together in a long time it was the first time we had golfed together in a long time oh yeah that was that's true <laughs> and i gave yeah. it to him and he was like dude that's oh awesome. dude i i was yeah. i was so happy because no. i was like man it's such a shame i couldn't find one blah 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 yeah. And he found one, and if I, like, I'm being dead serious when I say this. If I had to get rid of all my bottles and I could only keep one, I'd keep this one. Because it has his name on it. I'd love to, whenever he's old enough, to be able to crack this open with him. Dude, that would be so and cool. Hopefully, I'm still around when he's up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's what yeah. I've said. I've said, yeah. whenever you do, yeah. Uncle Dave is come over and have a sip, so, too. Yeah. And it'll be, it'll be awesome. Yeah. It'll be so cool. So, to me, it's honestly the most important bottle that I own. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So, thanks, awesome. Dave. Yep. Yep. Now this guy. All right. <laughs> this is going <laughs> to... It makes me mad. Go ahead. It, all right. So, I'm going to take it out. <laughs> I, I haven't taken out of the, the the stuff too much, but this is a Pappy 23. Um, listen, Total Wine has a... Uh, Total Wine has a lottery... <laughs> about three, about two times a year, two or three times a year. If you ever question if it's rigged, can confirm it's not. It's not rigged. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say that I don't spend a lot of money at Total Wine, but I don't spend a lot of money at Total Wine. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do. I buy my beer, a lot of beer at, at Total Wine uh, because they have a good beer selection. But I don't spend a lot of money on bourbon at, at Total Wine I, until recently. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't believe this. Uh, until recently. And so they do a lottery every year, and I was lucky enough to, to get this lot. To, you to call win. that lucky enough? Lucky. I, I'm, I was lucky. He was first on the list. Yeah, I was. He was the first name drawn. At the total line where I picked the, where For I got For basically this Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, which I'll take. Like, listen, all day long. Thankful. Uh, and so this is the best bottle I've ever owned. This is the most... This is the most I've ever spent on a bottle of, of, of bourbon. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Super cool. Dave, have you played the Total Wine Lottery like five times? Six, probably. Six or seven. I've been playing from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> Since Total Wine was a thing, I've been playing. And, yeah. So. Congrats, Dave. I don't. I mean, I don't know what else, I don't know what else to say. It's uh, awesome. No, it's awesome. Hey, 
I will say whenever he we'll whenever he told we'll me we'll leave this here since yeah, this is yeah, the, yeah, yeah, since should. that was last no whenever battle. he told me it was it was super awesome. So hey, listen, he, I, I, I just talk, love that he was talking to him, like I I get this email that says hey you you know you're allocated bourbons here and I I get it and I think all right well maybe it's like a um, E H Taylor barrel proof or something which I would have been super stoked at because it was a Buffalo Trace sure. release um, and so. I get it and I look and it, I see I see the label and I'm like, hold on, is that is that what? I, so I look and I was like, well, maybe it's like a 15 year. Nope, but I push it closer. Maybe it, no, it's a 23 year. I was like, dude. And so um, I start texting. No, I called Zach. I called him and I was like, Zach, and he didn't answer his phone. I was like, dude, he didn't answer his phone. I can't even share this with anybody. So I texted him and sent him a picture of the of the email. Uh, and so he calls me back. He's like, what's up? And I was like, did you get my text? He goes, no, but he's like, no, I didn't look at it. And I was like, he's like, what? And I was like, and he starts looking at you guys, dude, dude. Yeah. And so he was like, man, I'm so mad at you, but I'm so happy for you all at the same time. So, um, super cool stuff. Uh, I mean, this is honestly, things like this is, is like why you, why you, you know, collect bourbon. It's why we try, right? That's why we try. That's why they call it hunting. You don't always. That's why it only takes six times when I'm happy 23, right? <laughs> That's whatever it takes. It's whatever it takes. You uh, can play your whole life and only win an old fit's 14. Hey, listen, some guys can sure. play six times and win a happy 23. Yeah. It's some, not mad at some all. Some do. I probably never win anything else again, so. Why would you need to? Yeah. Hey, why would you need to? <laughs> so, but, hey, listen, tell us what, like, what what, what five whiskeys that you could not sure. live without that you want to keep in, in from your collection. Give us a list. And remember, it's the five you have to take with you, so. Yeah. You know. If you had to get rid of all the bottles that you had except for five, what are you taking with you? Yeah. That's a big ask. That is. So. It's hard. All right. Well, till the next time. We'll see you. See you.